Hi, hi, Crystal here. Welcome to another video with the Intact Immersive HQ. A little while ago, I did a video on new grammar of ornaments in Touch Designer. If you missed that video, I'll put that in the caption below. But I'm here back doing two more looks that is inspired by this book. And I really like how this, they have a lot of patterns that still have a very like hand-drawn aesthetic. And I tried to do, try to have a similar look in um, touch designer. So these are the two looks that was the inspiration and these are what I came up with afterwards. So let's get started. As always, we'll start with a clean network. Here is the little image of the book where it's going to be the inspiration. Um, I'm going to do different colors, but I like to have all these like kind of stripes that are kind of wiggly. Uh, I'll start with putting a rectangle top. And this rectangle top, the resolution, I'll have it be 1280 by 720. Then we're going to change the size of the re rectangle. You can play around with the size, but what I seem, uh, what worked for me was to have 2.25 point, and 0.47. I'm going to shift this a little bit to the left. So this center X, I'll have it to be negative 0.25. I'll leave the fill for white for now, and I will have the border color to be a red color color and I might change the shade of red or change it to a different color uh, later but we don't see the border because the border width is zero so I'll make this to be 0.03. Right. So we have our first rectangle and I make another rectangle I'm going to copy and paste this rectangle. I'm going to shift this a little bit to the right so I'm just going to delete this negative and I'm going to change the size to be something different to be 0.3 and 0.5. And then I'll have the fill color to be yellow. And play around with what type of yellow you want. And I'm gonna turn off the border width. Actually, I'm gonna change the border to be 0.2, ooh, no, 0 0.02. And I'll have it be black. And change all these parameters um, later if we want. And for the first one, I am going to add a transform top. This transform top, I want to turn on the tile to ex repeat. And let's change some of these parameters. Scale it down to be 0 0.07. And now you see because of the repeat on, you see a bunch of, of uh, the rectangle tiled and they squeeze it together. And I'm gonna change this scale to be Y to be 0.3. Now we have a bunch of these. Cool. I will copy and paste this and pipe this to the yellow. And because this is shifted a little bit to the left and this is shifted a little bit right, if you kind of see, they kind of just piece together which is what we want. But I'm going to change the scale a little bit. I'm gonna have it be 0 0.07 and to be 0 0.54. So they're a little bit longer. And let's have them to be moving. So this translate Y, and I'll have it be abs time dot frame. And if we have a start, you can see it's way too fast. I'm gonna have it times point zero zero one and slow it down. I copy this and actually want the yellow ones to go in the opposite direction. So for the T Y, I'm first going to paste this, but I'm going to add a negative under. And we can keep it the same, but I thought it's actually quite fun to have it a little bit different speed. So uh, I'm going to have it to be times point zero zero two. And let's composite these together. I'll add it right over top. Pipe these two. And we see this pattern. Awesome. I'm going to add a null after this. Pull this out. 
have this be reactive so you can see all the different steps. Great. So right now, this is all straight lines, and I want it to be wiggly lines. So I will add a noise pop. I'll change the resolution to be 1280 by 720. So it's the same resolution. 1280, 720, 1280, 720. Awesome. And I'm going to add a displacement place top after over and I'll pipe this to it but now it's wild <laughs> this display suite I'm gonna add zero one point zero one okay it's a little bit better so we can tweak this noise to be what we want um let's have this period lower this a little bit and I'm gonna have this amplitude to be like 0.2 and this harmonic gain to lower a little. Great. But right now it's pretty static, so let's also animate this noise in the translate. Uh, the translate C. We'll put a abs time dot frame, and this want to be very subtle, so point. Zero zero five. So just moving just a little bit, but it's kind of wiggling now. And if you want to wiggle it more, you can increase the amplitude to something higher. Yeah. Great. And let's have a background for it. So uh, I'll add a transform. This transform. Uh, this background color, I'll put the alpha to one and I will choose like a purple, like a gray purple color and have this comp over background color to turn on. Ooh, let me change this to be a little bit darker. And now you can, fun part, you can tweak it to make it a little more stylized. I want the seat. The saturation is yellow, but down. Ooh, I like this orange actually. And this red. Dark red. Great. And the last little thing, still spice it a bit, um, can add some texture. So, some, another noise. Change your resolution to be 1280 by 720. Some ways to be random. Add a level pop after this. Change the opacity to be low, like 0.1. And pipe the add pop. Put these together and add a little bit more texture give a little more of a analog look. So that's the first look. The second look, very similar techniques. So you can kind of probably see what's going on over here. We're gonna continue doing with the wiggly lines and add some dots on it. For the second look, let's start with adding a circle top. And this circle top, I'm changed to a resolution to be 1280 by 7, 1280 by 720. And I'll have this circle fill color to be black. And the resolution to be 0.1. Great. And after this, add a transform. In the transform, we're pretty much going to do the same thing, just different different numbers as what we did for the first look, where we have the tile tab to turn on repeat, and we will change the scale to be something very small, 0 0.05. 
0.05. For this one, we'll have the scale both be the same since they're a circle. If it's different, then it's going to become a oval, whereas the, the rectangle will just be more of a stretched oval. So, and let's have this be moving. I'm going to shift this to be 0 0.02 a little bit, moving over and have that um, the ty to be asked time past frame times zero zero one five. That's moving very slowly. <laughs> and I'll add a rectangle top afterwards. Change the resolution to be 1280 by 720. This one, I want the fill to be zero, but I want to have a border width of 0.1. So now it's like just a box border. Uh, the size, I'll keep it to be, I want to have it be 0.5 and one. So we actually just only have the left and right line of the border and not anything on the top and bottom. I'll copy and paste this transform and pipe it in. And since they don't have anything up and down, uh, I'm gonna just delete this over here because it doesn't really make a difference. Um, the scale, I'll change to be, actually, I'm gonna leave it the same for now. And let's comp these together and you can move some of the parameters based on what we see. Add a null for this. And I'll call this out. And then I'll have this be active. Great. So right now the the border is pretty thin and the circle is pretty big. So let's play with some of the scale. If I increase this a little bit wider and maybe this a little bit bigger too. I think I want this a little bit smaller even so this border width a little bit less like that I like that great um uh, let's add a background color for this so I add a transform and change the alpha background to one. Um, I'll change this color to be like an, a more of a brown. Let's make this wiggle. We can actually let's copy this displace and this noise and paste it down here. Oops. Did it before the transform actually? Let's see what I got. Cool. I want it to be a little bit less intense. So I'll change the amplitude down and Period down. Just have fun and tweak it until you find something that you're happy with. Yeah, getting there. Cool. You can stop here or you can add the green texture like we did on the previous thing. So add a add 
You can just pipe it in. Um, you can keep it black or you can play with having it a different color. You can do it like a ramp top. Uh, I'm changing the resolution to be 1280 by 720. And this ramp to be vertical. And I'll have this to be black, green, like dark green. And have this be pumped as it being inside. Be a little bit darker green. Just making it a little bit more interesting. So these are two very simple generative animation since it's so simple that's why gave two in this video. If you enjoy it, please let me know in the caption below, uh, in the comments below. And if you want to see more of the new grammar of ornaments, um, these are pretty fun to be inspired by and try to make some type of visual out of static um, pattern image. So till next time, bye. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like our YouTube content, I highly recommend you check out the Interactive and Immersive HQ Pro. The HQ Pro is the only comprehensive educational resource and community for immersive design, touch designer, and creative tech pros. In the HQ Pro trainings, we cover almost any topic you can think of, and we go way more in depth than we do in our YouTube tutorials. We have a private group where Matthew Reagan, myself, and our other industry veteran and pioneer teachers answer your questions every single day. If that sounds cool, click the link in the description to learn more. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more free touch designer and immersive content.